Last October, we introduced you to the newly crowned Miss Rhode Island USA and Miss Rhode Island Teen USA. Today, we catch up with them about their reign and what's next in their futures. Well, we are so excited to welcome back Miss Rhode Island USA and Miss Rhode Island Teen USA to the Roadshow. Ladies, welcome. Hi, Hi. thank you. Uh, congratulations once again, Jonay and Sophia. You were on our show about a year ago when you were newly crowned. How has the year been? Well, it's definitely been a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. um, just because of the pandemic, it's been mm -hmm. a little bit unconventional. But um, we're still just yeah, we're equally just, as excited. We're trying to make the most of it and get out to the community as much as possible. You absolutely should. So what has been a, a highlight for both of you throughout this time, throughout your reign so far? Well, for myself personally, probably about two months ago, I held my first school supply drive. So that was definitely exciting, gathering all the supplies and seeing all of the support that I had from the community and then giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. So, yes. For me, during quarantine, I was getting really bored. So one of my favorite hobbies is to bake. And I decided to have Care Cookies for Cranston Seniors, which was raising money for the seniors of my city. I wanted to raise $1 per cookie, and I ended up raising $2,000. So once I raised all the money, I went to a local restaurant and baked all 2,000 cookies. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of sick of looking at cookies. But then we sent them to a local senior center in my city. And I did this because I knew a lot of the seniors were getting bored and missed their families. So I think they needed that little extra love. Certainly. It's so nice to hear that both of you have been giving back. And, and like you said earlier, just trying to make the most of this somewhat strange year. Um, remind folks at home about your platforms, because I know that's huge in the pageant community. You're not only, you know, competing up there for yourself in, in hopes of, you know, taking a, a title, but you are doing so much uh, throughout your reign as well. So, Janae, let's start with you. So I am an advocate and a survivor of domestic violence. So my platform is called This Is Her, She Is Me, Finding the Strength to Walk Away. And during quarantine, I had an Instagram TV series. And I had, I think I want to say four other survivors of sexual assault, domestic violence, whether that was from themselves or from a family member. And I had them come on and share their story. And I closed out the Instagram TV series with myself, sharing my story for the first time. Wonderful. Sophia? For me, mine is environmental awareness. I think it's really important for the youth to be educated on it. So during quarantine, I started My Home, My Heart, which was an after-school program implemented into a few schools in my city. And over Zoom, we talked about ways we could help our environment by like recycling mm -hmm. and not littering. And so I did that just because I think that you should be aware of how to protect earth for the better. It's so great. The two of you have representing uh, have been representing Rhode Island in such a great way throughout this past year. But what's next? Uh, yeah, you know, you got to go on to the, the national level and you're about to leave pretty much any day now. Yes. So mm -hmm. after Miss USA, um, well, before the pandemic, I got into the academy to be a juvenile corrections officer. So I completed the academy. So hopefully I will be starting. Hey. <laughs> but I also began working at a halfway house during the quarantine. So I do that full time. And I'm also still in grad school. So things are pretty much still the same as last year, but I have <laughs> ventured off to a new career. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank Sophia, you. what's next for you? I'm a senior in high school this year, so I'm looking at colleges right now, and I plan to study broadcasting journalism in college, but hopes of becoming a news anchor. So interviews like this is great just to get used to being on TV. Yeah, glad we could throw you in the mix and get the, get a little practice in for sure. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Uh, when is your pageant? Um, my final pageant is on November 9th, and it is on a and &E, FYI, at 8 o'clock p.m., and Sophia? Mine is November 7th, and it's at 9 p.m., and it will be on the Miss USA page. You'll be able to stream it. Okay, beautiful. Well, we wish you guys the best of luck, and thanks so much for joining us. Thank you thanks. for having us.